right. Now, what do you what do you think about this whole NBA thing in national in the national anthem with Mark Cuban? Okay. Um, stating that they no longer gonna play the national anthem in the the match games. Well, they were sending it now. NBA was like everybody's playing national anthem um, at our games. I don't know what Mark Cuban was talking about, but they they put a statement out today saying that everybody plays national anthem. Um, I it, it it shows you how stupid it is to play this before domestic sporting events. The fact that they were doing it since the preseason and it's January and nobody noticed it or cared. Um, it shows you how like super inconsequential it really is. But uh, um, but how people need this to to for whatever reason to feel good. I know like the history behind it. It wasn't even a thing until like the nineteen. I think sometime like I think it was. Uh, uh, a World Series in the fifties. I can't remember what year it was. Was when they first started doing that. So it wasn't even like a real thing um, in American sports tradition until until that point. Um, so I don't know. I've never I've never understood the need to play the national anthem uh, before the sporting event, especially a domestic sporting event. Um, no one, nowhere else in the world does that. Like you watch, I watch soccer, um, and you watch uh, English Premier League matches or matches in Italy or matches in Mexico and Brazil, no one's doing a national anthem for um, domestic matches. Even when it's like a, a Champions League or intercontinental matches, no one's playing national anthem. Uh, they don't do it for uh, 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 basketball in Europe or or, or South America uh, or Asia. They don't do it for um, any rugby, any type of domestic sporting event um, amongst teams that are uh um amongst teams that are our clubs essentially uh they don't do this it's only america and um it's bizarre and it doesn't make any sense at all why we do this because uh the dallas mavericks versus the los angeles lakers on a on a wednesday night in the middle of of january is not doesn't call for us to like hear the national anthem in my opinion um it's always been kind of weird and it goes back to that that ridiculous over patriotic uh, uh, standpoint that we have in this country that it leads to stuff like what happened on January six where people you know are so beholden to to the traditions of of false nationalism that they don't understand you know what our our the, the values and the laws of this country actually are or they forget it um, it's it's such an easy thing to distract people with and. For such a long time, um, people have been distracted by that. I, I, I don't know how you feel about it, but, and, but I, 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 I never, ever understand the need to do that. When I go to sporting events um, around here, like I, I usually like be sitting down or, or doing everything but like uh, standing for or, or acknowledging it because I just don't really care. Like I, I didn't come here to, to play just to the flag. I came here to watch. Uh, uh, you know, Brad Bill try to score some points. That's that's what I care about. I don't care about um, you know, all this other stuff. And I don't think most people really do either. But um, it just it's just it's just really a weird thing. So I'm not a big Mark Cuban fan, but I just thought it was interesting that he was the one doing it. And if you've ever been in Dallas, Dallas is a very like uh, conservative area. Like it's like white bread America. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's like it's like it's like creme, it's like the creme of that. Like everything you that TV show Dallas in the '80s. That's like it's not like that, obviously, but it's like very like white cornbread, like all this stuff, like very conservative area. Yeah. Um, and so for him to do it there, it was kind of like remarkable. And the NBA's quick turnaround kind of lets me know, like what I've always felt about the NBA is that it's not really like the 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 most like uh, uh, hashtag woke league um, that they try to put themselves as. Uh, it's, it's never been that. It's always been the business and. They jump on these things because they uh, recognize the demographics of their players, but it's never been about that um, at all. I mean, even last year when uh, the players effectively had a work stoppage, they had a strike because of um, uh, what happened to Jacob Blake. Um, you know, the reactions to that were not like from from the league itself wasn't like what I would think the league that was like really concerned about uh, uh, labor of its, of its, of its players. Um, yeah, it's just it's just it, it doesn't it didn't surprise me that they reacted that way. I'm stunned that Mark Cuban did that, but it doesn't surprise me that they acted um, that way. So, well, a few things. Well, 
when you go to the games, you should sit in shame if you're a Wizards fan. That's not good. <laughs> I, mean, I got it. I can't. I mean, yeah, I yeah, I yeah, I I don't know why I support the same. I, I tell people if they move to Seattle tomorrow, I would be so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Would smile. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's first of all. Uh, I just want to let you know you should be ashamed of yourself being a wizard fan. What's I, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. I, I'm a Buffalo Bills fan, even though we had a good year this year. I, I, basketball I, I, team? Huh? Basketball team? I like players. Since we don't have an NBA team here, I'm really, uh, you know, uh, I'm I'm a LeBron. I'm, I'm, all right. a, okay. I'm not staying. I'm I stand no man. Good. But, yeah, no man at all. But I, I just like interesting matchups. So I like I like Brown. I like KD. I like Bradley Bill. Mm-hmm. I like Westbrook, man. But like the way he is, the show into his career is going. It's, it's sad. Kind of, it's sad because he tries so hard. Man. Like he, yeah. he give it a his all all the time. Um, but yeah, so you and five both. <laughs> Yeah, we're, both, yeah, we're both fans of their home teams. <laughs> but like I said, I'm, I'm a Bills fan, and like we had a good year, but I can't really be talking about anything, to be honest. Like we sucked for like 20 years, <laughs> so like until recently, and then we got trashed in the AFC Championship game, which was yeah. Sad. I got a feature, man. Y'all should be good with that. Yeah, and I, I kind of don't like you right now because now I am thinking about your football team beat us in the Super Bowl too. Ninety-two. Yeah, I didn't forget. That's 92. like the greatest. That's I was a kid when they won that game. I remember my dad took me to some watch party and stuff, and I was just like, I was like, this is how it's gonna be. And then you know, I I, I barely associate with the team now. That's how like sad it is for for me as a fan and, of that. And, I, I just, this dude right here, look, he, you call yourself a progressive. I just told you was the pain I experienced as a Bill fan, and then you elaborate. Listen. Or not in the Super Bowl game. This country is a capitalist. Like, country. Right here. This country is capitalist, and so somebody has to hurt for others to, to feel good. Uh, <laughs> okay, we got way off topic here. Let's let's bring it back now. I, I don't want to talk about this no more. So I'm I'm going to bring it back to the main mission. All right. So number number one, I actually think that. Um, Adam Silver came out and said that teams don't have to pay play the anthem if they don't want to. I think it's each. Oh, individual. really? Yeah. Okay, uh, I thought he had a statement saying that he had, they had to. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't think they have to. And as far as Mark, Mark Cuban is concerned, I, I'm not a big Mark Cuban fan. Um, the whole hoodie comment he made yeah. about young black men, I'm not, I, I wasn't feeling that at all. Um, so I always look at that as a mm-hmm. I don't think he did this as any type of political statement. I just I think he did this. I think just easier. So this way he doesn't have to run the risk of anybody protesting during the national anthem ever. Mm. Um, mm. So that, that alleviates that problem right then and there. And again, like you said, the especially in the NFL, like playing a national anthem was fairly recent. It was part of an ad campaign. That's right, yeah. So I was like in, in like the early 2000s. I think when Tagli Boost finishers, when they first started doing that. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. And as far as me, um, I was actually in the military. Like mm-hmm. uh, I spent six years in the Air Force and just with the whole protest uh, kicked off and people was uh, talking about Kaepernick and how he was anti-American and he was anti-veterans. I'm like, have you spoke to black veterans? Because you remember, it was a whole thing that popped off um, uh, black veterans for or veterans for Kaepernick. Mm-hmm. A lot of like a lot of black veterans um, supported what he was doing. Yeah. And so to divide them, like don't like like so Kaepernick in the long run have been proven right. Yep. You yep. Know? Um, and this whole it took is is crazy that it took this George Floyd situation for the 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 stragglers to say, OK. Maybe he has a point, but he still don't have an NFL job. But right. yet, Nathan Peterman got re-signed to the Raiders. You know, you know, um, <laughs> we know what that's about. Yeah. So 
whole thing, I, I don't care if they play national anthem. I don't care if they don't play. To me, it never made a bit of difference. I don't care if you sit for the anthem. I don't care if you stand for the anthem. I don't care if you take off your hat. I don't care if you wear your hat. I don't care if you put your hand over your heart. I don't care if you do. I really don't give up. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. I'm the same way. I. No. This is all your personal thing. First of all, I want to say thank you for your service. Um, oh, <laughs> first of all, for serving. Um, <laughs> I always say that. All right, so my wife is, uh, my wife is in the um, is, a, is a reservist in the yeah. army, and so we joke about that all the time. And she's like, I didn't, I didn't. She's like, I didn't do anything. Like I'm a reservist. <laughs> like, I don't go anywhere, and I, I kind of like feel the way about it. I'm like, I hear you. So I joke about that with her and stuff. But um, but seriously, like I always like you know, it's important to. To, to say thank you for um, even doing that, like I, I say thank you because I couldn't do that. I couldn't go into the boot camp and all that stuff. It's it's intense. Um, I went in while I was eighteen. Still, man. Back then. <laughs> now I'm um, I'm too I'm too old. For, yeah. Like I ain't trying to hear nothing. Like <laughs> you, you, you talk. <laughs> like at eighteen, I was like, I, right, I, I, I get some money. And I, right. I, I don't grow up with money. Right. I was like, I get what? Oh, y'all, y'all signed. Oh, they said you get a bonus. Oh, this is this is I gotta I gotta tell some stories officially too. <laughs> I can get into that real quick. A, a quick one is that I had a four year contract. They got me with six years because I was um well actually when I first was recruited I was seventeen. I wasn't even eighteen yet. Mm -hmm. I went when I was eighteen, but they was like, oh, you you sign up for two more years for six years. We give you four thousand dollars, right? Mm -hmm. And like, I remember, I, I don't have, I, I'm not used to money. 17, you know, I was in the hood. I was like $4,000. That sounds like a ton of money back then. Right. So I did it, right? Being young and stupid. Turns out I didn't even know the money was taxed. I was like, but this is the government. How is we getting the money for the federal government? Why are they tax their, turned out to be 2,800. Like that sounds crazy. Right. That I was already sour from my military experience from the beginning from that. I felt, crazy. I felt like they got me. I was like, I was like, oh, I got God. I was, I was mad. But that's a whole different story. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but anyway, yeah, I, I really don't care the way. I feel you. Yeah, I, I, I'm. Yeah, I, I don't care. Yeah, if you exactly. do I just, yeah, <laughs> I don't care if you do it either. I just don't like that. It's such a like a. There's a militancy towards that. That's the issue that I have. Cause it, cause if you, you know, we always talk about you have the right to do this and this free will and First Amendment, but you have to honor the flag and X, Y, and Z. And I was like, wait a minute, that these things don't josh. So, um, so you know, I, I, if teams want to play it, it's whatever. I just, I, I tend to like check out when that stuff happens anyway. That's somebody thinks well. Somebody thinking well, I'm like, oh snap, you did your thing, and I kind of commend that. Like I applaud the performance because. You will hear somebody that's like can really can really blow and do a great job doing the national anthem. So I'll I'll clap for that. But I I yeah. It's, it, and I also feel like the NBA by even issuing a statement is making it a bigger story than it needs to be. Um. So that's the other thing too, which is what it is now. So yeah. Uh, I don't I don't care about <laughs> at all. Like um, it's whatever to me. Get rid, of, get rid of qualified immunity. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. For sure. 